So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Eight of Wands. So this is about adapting to uh, all the difficult uh, challenges that are coming your way, seeing things from a different perspective. Uh, you, know, you can see this woman's almost wrapping herself around these wands. So there might be some challenging information that's coming your way or dealing with just challenging people. Uh, but you're going to have to find a way around it and be diplomatic. Uh, you know, wind your way around it, uh, be very smooth talking. Now, it also looks like you might be very, very busy soon, so things are starting to move for you, are starting to pick up, and this is going to bring in a lot of um, challenges from all di different directions. So, uh, you know, um, you might be working through deadlines, having to finish off c uh, complete projects. Uh, there could be some travel that's involved over here, a lot of communication, uh, but a lot of fiery energy, and this is uh, all about you. So you're going to be very, very sort of proactive, moving around a lot, doing a lot of things, meeting a lot of people, collaborating with a lot of people, and having to deal with problems on a daily basis. And they're going to crop up quite a bit of them, but you're going to have to just go with the flow and adapt to that particular situation and take control of that situation as well. Focus and center yourself. So what's happening with you? You've got the Queen of Pentacles, and this is crossed by the King of Swords. So there might be some legal decision that you're waiting for as well, and this is going to be something that gives you a financial payoff. So there's some kind of legal decision pending or a, legal, a court case, some kind of something legal, something official. Uh, it, it, um, it might be to do with work, but it also might be that, you know, it brings in money because this is the Queen of Pentacles and this is about achieving abundance. So there's some kind of legal payoff that comes in from this court case or you're waiting for some kind of money to come in or it is something to do with legalities in a work situation. But there looks like there will be some kind of money that comes in. So there's something that comes in for you, a settlement that comes in and it goes in your favor. So it looks like things are going to start going in your favor. So whatever you're waiting for, whatever legal decision, official decision you're waiting for, it looks like um, you know, you're going to get some kind of payoff. You got the Ace of Swords, so you've been dealing with some kind of legal decision. You've been winning so far in this particular decision um, uh, situation, so things are going your way from a legal stance point or official stance point. You also have been taking control of that situation, speaking your truth, and you know, being very, very focused, very, very single-minded, and doing uh, you know, showing people what your strengths are. You've got the King of Pentacles over here, so you could be dealing with a, an Earth sign person, which is Capricorn, Taurus, or uh, Virgo. But this is also about you being in a position of leadership and authority as far as your work goes. And it's getting you that financial stability, and you know, you're maybe in charge of a lot of people, and you're getting, uh, you know, uh, you, you're being paid pretty well for it. So it looks like, uh, you know, financially, you're getting on top of your finances. Because I think Aries did have a lot of problems with finances last year, but this year it seems like, you know, things are getting, uh, you're getting together with, uh, you know, you're getting it on top of things rather. So you've got the hanged man, a woman over here rather so you know things appear you feel as though things are at a bit of a standstill you are facing a lot of difficulties over here having to make a lot of sacrifices uh to achieve things um and you know you are uh you know going above and beyond the call of duty to get your work done and you are trying to see things from diff a different angle so you are trying to adapt to a situation and trying to see outside the box um you're trying to uh, you know you have made a lot of sacrifices and you are aware of it uh, but this is how you are trying to to change the way your pathway is going. So you're making inroads to changing uh, the course of your life. So going into the future, you've got the high priest, the, um, Hierophant rather. So in this deck, it's called the Priestess. This is about doing a lot of reflection, but also receiving a lot of of advice and getting, making sure that you get some sound advice. Now, if you need legal advice, you need to go and get some professional advice. But this is also doing a lot of research uh, and maybe even getting some kind of spiritual support that will come in for you. So you do need to get some kind of advice, some kind of input um, that's official or professional or something that makes a difference. Um, now, somebody who, you need to get advice from somebody who's an expert, rather, um, in this with this hierophant or this priestess card. Now, uh, what's going on with you? You're, uh, you've isolated yourself a little bit uh, and you are focused, very focused on your work right now. This is the hermit spending a lot of time by yourself but also being very focused on your work. This is card ruled by Virgo, so very, very work oriented at this particular moment. What's happening around? You've got the sun, so all this hard work is paying off for you. A lot of clarity coming in, uh, and uh, you know, a lot of messages coming in, but a lot of victory coming in. So, uh, whatever you're you're doing, you're going to be highly successful in with the sun card. You might even be taking a, a little bit of a holiday with the sun card as well. So maybe a bit of travel coming in as well, taking a little bit of a break, getting some R and R 
you got the emperor card of here so this is waiting for that legal decision to come in you've even got that um, king of swords it's making you quite anxious but this is also your card uh, the emperor card is ruled by uh, aries so this is taking control again of your situation you might be considering taking uh, a new post uh, or something that uh, gives you a lot more authority and maybe you managing a lot more people but you're definitely taking control of that situation so going to the future, you've got the three, uh, the, sorry, the five of swords, the queen of swords, and the king of wands. So uh, this is that five of swords drawing the line in the sand over here. So you are telling people where to get off. You are drawing the line. You're telling people go so far and no further. So you have dealt with a lot of, dis uh, you know, uh, this is card is dealing with a lot of difficult people, maybe a lot of betrayal, and now you have, you're standing your ground and you're not letting people, you're showing people what your boundaries are. And you're very determined as well to get things done and you're going your own way. So this is, you know, maybe you come through a divorce or a separation and you are now doing it, you're going it on your own and you're very determined to be successful. So this is also spending a lot of time by yourself, uh, but being, um, you know, not letting people get too close and taking control of that situation. And then you've got the King of Wands, which is your card. So this is being taking charge of that situation, getting that control back in your hand again, and uh, not allowing anybody to take advantage of you. So if you have, you are going to be reaching, you know, the highest point of this, um, the fire uh, suit, which is the, the wand suit. And this is being very much in control, very much in charge and uh, being at the height uh, you know, some a person that people will respect and, uh, you know, people will take a lot of notice. And maybe this is even a promotion into something better. This could also be, uh, you know, travel. So there could be some international travel coming up for you, uh, you know, where you're very, very much in charge. So you are getting back that power. You are waiting for some kind of legal decision that looks like it's going to go your way as well. And, you know, you're you're managing to adapt and money is coming in for you as well. So this is the uh, Guardian Angel Tarot for the um, Oracle Read. And the first one is the Messenger of Abundance. And it says, wonderful news regarding your career, a new job or promotion and acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel uh, ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation will involve someone who is firm, uh, who is fun to be around, sorry, and sometimes mischievous. So you are getting some good news coming in, a promotion, a new job, uh, you know, maybe a new study coming in. So it looks like some good news is on its way to you, some success. <coughs> the second card is a win-win situation. There's another success card. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that is magnificent. Start focusing on aspects that everyone agrees on. And then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out moderate approach. So whatever you're doing is going to be very successful. You, there's a lot of collaboration. And even with this Prince of Wands, the uh, King of Wands, there's a lot of collaboration that comes in for you. So it looks like, um, you know, whatever you're going to, whatever obstacles that you're going to be facing, uh, you know, with some good advice. And like I said, um, with this um, high priest or the priest card, which is the hierophant card, you do need to go and get some advice. And it looks like whatever input comes in, it's going to be good news or it's going to be very, very productive for you. So take that advice uh, and, uh, you know, put it into your um, plans and, you know, you change your plans, listen to what people have got to say or what this advisor has got to say and it's going to, to bring about um, success. And the last card is be open to success. Look at all the wonderful things you can do when you listen to your, div uh, your heart for divine guidance. Uh, You've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. There will be a lot of recognition and promise headed your way. And don't be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude you deserve. So it looks like, you know, success is definitely on its way to you. There's a win-win situation, a message of abundance coming, and it says be open to it. Now is the time where whatever the hard work that you put into that situation is going to start paying off for you. So uh, it looks like, you know, uh, after all that difficulties you went through, success is finally coming knocking on your door. And open that door and allow that success to come in and enjoy it. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.